we need to remember that what happens to the earth happens to us. And I think that there really is no political solution or an economic solution that exists right now. You get a clear perception of reality and where we, where we are in reality and take responsibility. And by using our intelligence, intelligently, create the solutions that we need to create. Because right now, I mean, it's just, we're just more fuel, you know, somewhere, this, somewhere under the religious perception of reality, a decision was made that the earth was the dominion of man, and man, man therefore could plunder the earth, that man could take whatever they wanted from the earth. Five percent of our body is water. And in order to stay healthy, you've got to drink good water. When the European first came here, Columbus, we could drink out of any river. If the Europeans had lived the Indian way when they came, we'd still be drinking out of water because water is sacred. sacred. Our DNA is made of the same DNA as the tree. The tree breathes what we exhale. When the tree exhales, we need what the tree exhales. So we have a common destiny with the tree. We are all from the earth. And when the earth, the water, the atmosphere is corrupted, then it will create its own reaction. Mother is reacting. man's destiny to do is destroy civilized man's ability to live with the earth. So we as human beings, if we use, if we take responsibility for our lives and live our lives in a coherent manner, as coherent as we possibly can anyway, then we will have an influence into curing this disease. But this disease, earth will not allow, the antibiotic will come <laughs> in a planetary sense. If it means Open up the ozones and let it let it let it wipe the civilized man out, and the earth will do that. The earth will continue on. See, maybe maybe we should be developing our loyalty to this planet and this earth and our future, our descendants, more than we should be to governing political systems that have created all these problems. See, but now we have most people are trying to find solutions to problems, but they're trying to do it within the confines of the confined abstractions of democracy. And so if they're not willing to think objectively about our responsibilities towards our own descendants, then they will come up with no solutions.